All right, you're still watching Ways Now, the United Nations International Day for Remembrance of the Slave Trade and its abolition is annually observed on August 23rd to remind people of the tragedy of um, the transatlantic trans slave trade. It gives people a chance to think about the history, historic causes and um, the methods and the consequences of slave trade. So this keeps us, you know, forever remembering that it is never ever right to keep anyone against their will or hold them in captivity it just reminds us that you know what we're better than, you this. Know, than this yeah so anybody that has any i want to visit that place in badagri mm -hmm. that they talk and about also in ghana oh there's one in ghana there's as well there's one in ghana that people yeah. came on tour for from yeah. America but, all over the world yeah, trying to I find their the one in Ghana they, they still have blood stains oh wow from far back yes wow, oh, wow. so it's a very how do they preserve them you see you see it on the anyway they would have painted it with something like yeah mm. Environment. All right, so quickly, what did we find in the news? Let me come to you, Glory. What did you find in the news? <laughs> <laughs> okay, a Nigerian man has called out a lady who gave him a total bill of 37000 after he offered to pay her lunch. The young man named Tunji said the lady asked him for lunch and he asked her to order and send him the bill. However, the lady shocked him to the bones after giving him a bill totaling a whooping sum of 37000 Naira. Mm. When he went ahead to ask the reason why, and the lady's response was, if you can't afford it, just say so. Mm. Yeah. Entitlement as they what? say. No, what's it's entitlement? Not, it's not really entitlement. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Okay. Are, are you not, not an accountant? It's does you not know the does you not know the price of the dollar in the market? Does it you know? Ask me question. <laughs> <laughs> Next time you tell me your budget. <laughs> ah, this is what topic. It's not what you're saying. We just change topic. No, no, no. no, no. That, that wait, true. wait. Eh, eh, anti consideration. Totally. Wait, anti. Let me finish. Unacceptable. I'm totally unacceptable. I'm totally unacceptable. Anti consideration. Hold on. Let me finish and lie. With your TikTok of independent women. I think that's your message. With your TikTok. Of independent women, no, they don't more than two k. Don't even go there. Well, what you ask TikTok? My, my TikTok, my own is hundred to one million. I don't hundred to one million levels. So, so sorry, hundred ten million. So, so what, what I was saying, right? Okay. So I like when we are also very clear. It, mm -hmm. it is very quick. Anybody that hears the story will attack the woman. But I want to say that. See what I do. She is not even smart. I would ask you what's your I budget. You were pointing at me. No, I'm saying the lady <laughs> in the video in the story, she's not even smart. I would ask you what's your budget. Mm. Come on. You've mm. asked me for lunch. Because if I were going to buy the lunch myself, I would pay for it. Come what? on. I don't True. no, 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 no. Let me be okay, let me okay. be honest. I would True. not I would not ask you for a lunch for that what I, I cannot can afford. Do. Good. Remember when, when Nancy and I went for a dinner yeah. and I told you what happened? Once we scenario. ordered what we could order. Once so scenario. if you're offering to pay, it's not like I cannot afford it. So I'm saying to you right don't come with that that uh, whatever if you knew your budget was low you just tell her ah babe i'm gonna buy you lunch but this is my budget right so i mean it's very clear well, that's well, one thing I, I agree with you but on the other hand on the other hand you can afford to pay for your bill a majority of people given the opportunity and they know they cannot afford to that pay ask for this they comes. now capitalize on that opportunity to manipulate people. And, and that I would understand. We've got 10 topic. And embarrassment is mankind. very, very key. When but, you, what I'm thinking is, yes. What I'm thinking is, even if you can't afford it, first you need to be considerate. considerate. Be considerate. Think about you the next person. Can this person afford it? Pockets? It's, it was a nice pleasure, a, a nice Just gesture sure. yeah. on his side to have said, okay, should that, can I pay for your lunch? But for her to go ahead and just order and them, then you say, if, you if, you can if, if you can't afford it, it that's oh, disrespectful. I'll buy you lunch, my mom took it. We're eating our mala. People should let her talk. Talk to me. No, wow. that's not. He's going to I feel like, first, maybe this guy might have offended her somewhere in the past and she's really trying to retaliate. <laughs> to get back at him. Yes, because I, do, I don't understand. <laughs> Thank it's wicked, really. It's so wicked. No, 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 but it's not I wicked. Mean, but, but I would, no, honestly, I understand I, I, where I she's coming from. God. Maybe like yeah. what you said, like he should have stated. Oh, no, yeah. So, so when you say that, I want to. Offer but she to should buy have also lunch, asked, like, right? what's your budget? So, too? yeah. You thank you. That's why I said. That, that's why I said when I established. It, I said that was very, very careless on her part. Mm. She should have asked, "Do you have a budget?" Yeah. Do you understand? Because where I order meals, there are some restaurants you go to. A plate of food is that amount. Do you understand my point? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm just saying to you that it's not even, it's even some restaurants is twice true. that amount. Do you get my point? Yeah. So since she was careless to not have asked, what's your budget? budget. I would ask, Madame, 
I want to buy lunch, but this is my budget. Mm. Do you understand? So if you want to order anything more than that, just you take this one it. and add add to it. You I've had a friend once in, who promised to take me to lunch whenever they visited abroad. I hadn't seen them in a long time. And I said, which one are you able to afford? Yes. KFC that's or proper Chinese restaurant? Thank you. And he said, let's do KFC like or Nando's today. So that's why I said Next the girl was careless. She wasn't. Yeah. She was careless. But let's move on. Ah, okay. have made it I'm that telling that you because there are so many aspects to it. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Oh no, I paid on behalf of the guy. <laughs> <laughs> all the people, all the men, we call it to support And it's just this cool uh, off rice, yeah. like, it's not... Cool off so rice, cool you take it at home, it's not... Uh, you it's not a... a cool off jello oh, rice, oh, like this. Can you go check? In short, <laughs> let me just face my thoughts. <laughs> so I have this story that is supposed to be sad, but I decided to see the grape of God. I said this week, I'm all about good news. So there's a new case of Ebola virus that is confirmed in Democratic Republic of Congo. And uh, this came about when they, uh, when they realized a 46-year-old woman from the eastern province of North, sorry, of North Kuru, Kivu, sorry, tested positive after she died on the 15th of August. Mm -hmm. And um, the interesting thing about it is that they have been able to curtail it. I mean, they just found out. So the, the researchers have said that even years after Ebola had taken that, some people have these uh, virus resident, cells, resident, resident, yeah, resident, resident, yeah. Um, resident in them. And after some years, maybe due to change of weather or something, it can manifest. So this one is the first case, and they have taken it up seriously. And I think um, it's not going to end up in a pandemic because mm. uh, they've been able to address the, people have assured, the health authorities have assured that uh, vaccinations and everything will take place to curtail it all right mm. like, like, new and yeah. improved version mm. mm -hmm. <laughs> okay so i have a story uh, for people that are fans of basketball you remember when um Dwayne wade died that um his wife was complaining was about doing all kobe Kobe Bryant, sorry. Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't kill the way you ah, ah, yeah, no oh, vex, so no vex. I just get jealous. Yeah, I don't vex for you for us. That your Zaya picking where you want on to pick. woman. Anyway, it was um, Kobe Bryant when he and his child unfortunately died in a helicopter crash. The wife was so upset saying that the authorities, the first aid people, police and everything were so insensitive by putting pictures of the crime scene or of the accident scene and them in their demise state on air. So she took them to court, the state. So let me briefly say what it says. It says, um, forgive me, Var Vanessa Bryant keeps company that's going to show up when it's time, American Fune. Um, Sierra was hand in hand with Mrs. Bryant and Monica walked alongside Nat Natalia Bryant as the crew entered the court on Monday. Testimony continues this week in Vanessa's lawsuit trial against Los Angeles County. She's accusing county employees of causing emotional distress, etc., by circulating images of the 2020 helicopter crash, including alleged images of Kobe Bryant and Gianna Bryant's remains. Now, the reason why I took this topic was, I mean, we could be saying that we're far away from it, but in Nigeria, we all have this habit of recording first before actually offering help trying to get, be the first person to get something on social media. In their own case, it was official, and they refused to keep it private and probably started selling it to paparazzi. But by the same token, please think about things when they happen. Your camera and you capturing it is not the first thing to do. And also, I don't think the lawsuit is about money. Mm -hmm. I think it's about the distress and the fact that she's trying to make them stop it so that it doesn't happen to somebody else. Because so, those so, images so, so, I, are so gruesome. I'm a in this situation because okay. there's, on one hand, We've seen that how recordings have actually saved people's lives. A friend of mine well, had a close shave going to prison, going mm. to jail, mm. because she was accused of killing a last mile official. In fact, it was mm. um, okay. Femi Falana okay. that, um, that picked up the case. In fact, that was the saving grace she had. Mm. The last mile had already accused her that she killed the last mile official. Meanwhile, it was a bus um, that uh, down for driver that, that crushed the guy and drove away. Mm. But because they could not hold that person, they had to pin it down on someone. Okay. What saved her life was, was the fact that recorded. not even in it, so they had to go and pull out the CCTV cameras of the banks around all that area. That was how they were able to get the footage. Yes. So I'm saying that on one hand, it might sound come off as insensitive. Mm -hmm. But on another hand, I've seen how 
recording some things like this actually gives us um some level of um what's it called evidence or whatever in case i understand of that investigations that has to be carried the out. problem here is in the story that you said imagine now going to take a picture of the lasma officer dead, dead and putting it and then out. putting it on social okay, media i get you now that's the one that, that is different all mm. right so for the people that are maybe sapa is dealing with them and they <laughs> think that it's a what's it called staging a kidnap that would be the way out mm. i mean i saw this story I, I found it very appalling um the lagos the river state police command has dismissed claim that the university of port harcourt um, student jennifer spiff had been abducted um this is following a video that made rounds on social media that Jennifer had been abducted and her kidnappers demanded five million naira ransom and threatened to kill her on Tuesday. So, um, reacting to the video via the um, Twitter handle, the command claims that the whole incident was staged, possibly with an intention to fleece unsuspecting members of the public. So, this actually really breaks my. We've said this things mm -hmm. time and time again that when you keep doing these kinds of things, you actually somebody that is in their need that, that really is real help it. you have you've just robbed that person an yes. opportunity for people to help a few, yes. months, a few weeks ago four, uh, no last week mm. four nuns were abducted on okay. their way to Oweri. Mm. so i mean hearing those stories and hearing yours it almost makes people not to pay attention when absolutely. they hear them because they know you just take it like it's another of thing them absolutely all right so what to discuss our matter today yes husbands wife <laughs> <laughs> Help us. All right, we'll be right back. Stay with us. <laughs>